Welcome and thank you for joining me. This is Laurie of Laurie's Heirloom Sewing. Today we're going to work on the apron that we discussed a few days ago. It is the McCall's pattern number 2947 right here. This one has eight views. We have the half skirt view and then the um, you know, basically a full apron and then what I would call a uh, grill apron. So I'm going to be working on this view, view E. We have the um, heart uh, appliques on the pockets and the bib. So what we have are some skirt pieces, some pocket pieces, some applique, some straps, and some ties. And I wanted to kind of do a quick discussion about how these pieces could be basically cut using a rotary cutter and a ruler without having to pin your pieces to the fabric. Because for example on this tie all you'd really have to do is measure the, the length, the long length, and the width and then cut that out. Of course you'd have to be careful that you're on the correct grain line and if you're not familiar with you know how to do that um, if you look at your pattern it will give you a sample a little drawing that will show you um, how to lay out your fabric and where to place your pattern pieces and if that is where you are in your sewing adventure then I suggest that you go ahead and do it that way um, this right here is our waistband and it wants one of fabric and one of interfacing so we do need to be mindful of those instructions as well. The, the shoulder strap for the apron that I'm choosing to make requires that we cut four. So we'll need to be um, aware of that when we're lining out and putting out our fabric and on our, I mean our pattern onto our fabric. We'll need four of those. We will need two of the pocket if that's what we're choosing to do. Um, we have the option to just put one pocket or to put no pocket. So that's another option there that you can choose. And then right here is the bib. The bib should be cut on one single piece of fabric and then the fabric will be folded right across the center and this would be the top of the apron bib. So it's kind of a self-lining bib. However, you could lay it out, measure length and width, and then just use your rotary cutter and a ruler if you wanted to do it that way. And then the remaining two pieces are for the skirt. This is piece number four. And we are to cut this on the fold. And this is the front and it will be where the pocket will be applied should we decide to use the pocket. So of course there would be one on the right side and one on the left side. And this is one solid piece of fabric. And then we also have for view E a skirt back right here. So there you go. And again, both the front and the back can be easily cut using a rotary cutter and a ruler. So now we're going to take the instructions and when you start with your patterns, if you're unfamiliar, um, if you've not sewn a lot, um, I would recommend that you just go ahead, familiarize yourself with what the pattern, the company, McCall's, Butterick, Simplicity, Berta, Quick Sew, whatever, um, they all are going to have kind of a key. And then you can choose um, how, how you want to mark uh, either your fabric or your pattern. Now it's going to start out with pattern A and B and tell us how to lay that out. And then it moves on to D and then of course here is E right here. 
So we'll be, you know, basically using a big long piece of fabric on the fold. Our selvages will be right across the top up here. And then if you're if you are using that's this layout right here is for fabric that is 45 to 55, excuse me, 44 to 45 inches wide. With or without the nap, you're still going to lay it out that way, but you will have to be mindful of nap or matching if you've got stripes, if you've got a certain type of pattern, or if you want a fussy cut. Um, you know, you want to make sure you get some design into the front of the apron. Or if you've got a 58 to 60 inch wide fabric, this would be the way you would lay out view E. And then our instructions that tell us how to put this apron together begin over here. So we're going to start by, after we've cut out all those pieces, we will start with our pocket. And that would be for um, the views A through E, which is the pocket I have. And then if you have um, cut out view G or H, you will be using that long front center pocket. So they want us to go ahead and finish off the pockets and then do the appliques. So um, that's the very first step. And that's where we will begin tomorrow. I am so sorry, I hate to do this, but I'm going to spin you around and show you why I must cut this short. It was hailing. There were very dark clouds. It was a very, very, very rough, rough morning this morning for all of us here in the Pacific Northwest. And as you can see at the current time, I have blue skies with just a few little clouds. So I have to take advantage and not waste the opportunity to, um, you know, go uh, shopping. I'm going to Joanne Fabric. I need to um, pick up some fabric to make napkins for our Thanksgiving dinner. And that is, today is Monday. Thanksgiving is Thursday. So I only have a few days. I wasn't sure that the um, placemats I had ordered from Wayfair were going to show up, and they did. So since they did, I really wanted to um, complement those with, um, I have a vision in my head of napkins I want to make. So, and they're going to be self-lined and, and all of that. So today is a run through on this, and then um, I'm going to bomb out and get the, um, the fabric for the napkins and then try to get back here and I might do a video on the napkins and I might just go ahead and pick up um, the apron. I'm not really sure. It's going to depend on how the rest of the week looks for me. I hope everybody is having a fabulous week this week. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving and can visit with the people that they love the most. And if you have questions, anything at all about this pattern or the napkins that we're going to be making, um, just drop me a comment. You can always find me at Laurie's Heirloom Sewing on Facebook. Please like and subscribe. It really does help. Thank you again.